These How's are fronts, work? these are rears. Okay. So, that's left front. <laughs> right front. Yeah. Whoa! I'm back here at Vince and Michael's uh, shop. Check out the merch van. It's not a bus, it's a van. Oh, what? Look how much work has been getting done over here. What up, Vince? Man, so much is going on. Yeah. So much has happened. Oh, wow, I got the vending window now in here. Oh, yeah. Doghouse has been widened. Wow. Oh, there's stuff cleaned out. Oh wow, fixed this had cancer, this whole thing had it. Looks good. Nice. block it completely flat. We're using a half inch plexiglass block and with 40 grit to knock it back down. We'll basically just start knocking big flat panels out yeah. as fast as we can. I don't know if you can see it, but we've actually skim started skim coating this whole panel and everything from here down is close to done. You just sharpie your lows and then scuff them so you still have a bite, a tooth to grab with, for the new filler. Come in and just float your lows and when you actually go to block it down, as soon as you start to see your Sharpie come back, oh. you know you're flat. Nice. The best way to do this, one hand's grabbing, one hand's just pushing. Uh -huh. Just work this at a diagonal. Uh -huh. You can see it hooking it off the bottom first. Uh -huh. The faster you can work this stage, the, the faster it goes, huh? Yes. All Let's right. watch Vince be a body man. Other way, diagonal, right? Yep. It's all in the hips, Vince. Yeah. All in the hips. <laughs> the boys got this side about rounded out. A little bit of the back. Tomorrow, more body filler. Sounds good. Solid effort. Solid effort, boys. <laughs> All right, good morning. Let's go see what the boys are up to over next door. Come here, Mike, I want to show you something. Oh, good morning, Vince. Good morning, Mike. You look guess, nice guess and clean. Guess what I've been doing this you, morning. You look nice and clean. Thanks. Just body filler and sanding, and then after that, it's body filler and sanding, and then after that, it's body filler and sanding, and then after that, body filler and sanding. All right, looks good, back at it. Thanks, Mike. Tired? Yeah, a little bit. Well, good morning. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Vince. So today, Vince is gonna be working on... Airbags? Suspension? Airbags! And so at this point, you can get the bags fully assembled, airlines fully assembled, plumbed, done. Figure out fittings. Yeah, do a little plumbing. All right. Don't show no crack, though. Okay. All right. Maybe you can't with overalls. Uh-uh, that's why I wear them. Some people call it Kaiser Blade. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna be working on building the exhaust system. So uh, we got these really cool hooker mufflers. These things are really <laughs> all stainless construction, three inch inlet, three inch outlet, TIG welded very nicely, I might add. These things are straight through, so they should flow quite a bit and also muffle quite a bit. Hooker mufflers, stainless, really cool product. So I'll be putting those mufflers back in the chassis somewhere around yay, maybe yay. Or maybe yay. Okay. Yeah, kind of open still. So we got a bunch of parts. We got some V-band clamps. We got our headers established. So we're ready to rock. All right. Are you ready to rock? I'm ready to roll. Let's roll. All right, you rock, I'll roll. I'll roll. What's going on, Hoonigan viewers? Let me ask you this. Are you the type of person that winds up in a ditch sideways with a lot of people recording you on their phones? Do you perhaps own a C4 Corvette and drive it like it is an actual race car? So if you've got race car dreams, but more like a Mustang leaving a car show skill set, 
we've got the solution for you. Here at Hoonigan, we're offering you a chance to f you crows. We're offering you a chance to win an all expense paid trip to Skip Barber Racing School, where you can learn how to not understeer or crash into things. Look tight as f where you can stop acting like you know how to drive and actually be able to drive. Here's how you enter. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash hoonigan. Sign up for a new subscription to Dollar Shave Club. Then go to hoonigan.com slash DSC. Follow the steps on that page. After that, you're done. But hurry. Contest ends soon. So Vince has been busy getting the airbags set up and our correct plumbing fittings in. We got all four airbags in and he's working on the plumbing. I've got one cross member made, tacked in, and some exhaust hanger brackets that I've made over here on the bench. So we got these little exhaust brackets. They're gonna weld to the bottom side of this tube here, like so. And then our exhaust will hose clamp to that bracket with those fine hose clamps there. And that'll give us our first established point to be able to build the rest of the exhaust. Perfect. All right, well, we're back to it. So check in with you in a little bit. Ten of your birthday beers? You may, as long as I drink the first ten. Well, we've had a long day. It's also Vince's birthday eve. Oh yeah, birthday's tomorrow. In a couple hours, actually. So everyone wish a happy birthday to Vince. Vince is gonna blow out about 43 birthday candles. Yeah, 43 birthday beers. <laughs> 43 birthday beers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We gotta have our goals, you know? Yeah, everyone's got goals in life. Yeah. I think 43 birthday beers sounds like a good number. Yeah. So we'll see you guys later. All right. Happy birthday, Vince. See you guys. What have we got going on today? What are you working on, Mike? I'm working on the railroad. I'm working on making seat mounts for these bomber seats. Bomber seat? Yeah. That's what's going yeah, in the market. You guys haven't seen these, huh? So these are going to be the seats for the van. Oh, rad, they look comfortable. Yeah, they came out of a P51 Mustang. Really? Yeah, so we thought it was pretty fitting for a P100. You know, it's like the same, but half. P51 and 10. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so so we got our uh, Cruise Light boxes. Template. Yeah, template material. You can see we're making a little base here. And then this is gonna be made out of metal. And then this is gonna go in here. They're gonna put some bolts in there and a little tube. and. That'd Perfect. Cool. Yeah, so we're making those. You are back on airline fittings. Correct. You got airlines to do, you got fuel lines to do, you can start doing the uh, transmission clue lines. Mm -hmm. And those I think we're gonna 90 here, come down this way, and then along like the oil pan to get it far enough away from the headers, right? Right. And then you can leave them wild out here. So Chris has cut the last of the rust out. We had the channel on the bottom of the body. What's up, Chris? What's going on, guys? Not much. What are you working on? <laughs> Taking these off. No more crunchy scrunching. Oh, all that that was rusted out? Yep. Gonna replace it all. Very nice. Gonna replace it all with this. Let me see. This Cox channel. C channel? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, heavy duty. Dude, that's heavy duty, huh? Yeah, so now we can, this is gonna go up here. That's gonna go up there, and we'll have a nice jacking point for the body that's not gonna crunchy crunch. Right. Yeah. And also for all the people selling the merch, won't fall through the floor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So 
Vince and I were discussing about running this airline that needs to go to this airbag here. Originally, I was gonna run it up, up the top of the frame and, and drop it down in here, but since Mike added all these cross members and ruined my plan, we gotta come up with another plan. So instead, we're gonna run it on the inside of this frame rail, like this, but also, it's gonna run really close to this muffler. So, since it's so, running so close to this muffler, we have this product from Funk Motorsports. It's like a heat wrap for this hose. And I don't think it's just for hose, it's for... It's for hose. Hose? Hose. Probably run some wires through there too, right? Yeah, you could put whatever you want through there. We'll show you some of the other products that they have. And we're gonna test them too with fire. Yeah. I got a piece of test material here. Oh, cool. <laughs> You got a torch? I got a torch. You want to show this product off first or you want to just get to it? I want to torch your finger. I'm down. Put your finger in there. Look, check this out too. It's uh, that size, but it also turns into... It expands. That size. <laughs> what the f***, <laughs> Mike? What the f***? You want All to right. test it out? Yeah, let's test it out. That's a lot of heat. Oh, it's not what? even... What is it? Ta-da. Oh wow. It did, you can see where it kind of softened up a little bit. It definitely didn't damage it. This is a blanket? Yeah. That's gonna cover the headers? Exhaust oh, springs. sick. That's pretty cool. All right, now put that around your arm. <laughs> almost took off my eyebrows, man. I almost burned your mustache. I have confidence in this product. Did nothing? I don't feel nothing. <laughs> Don't breathe it. Is it warm there? Yeah. It's not warm there. Cool. Oh, cool. It works. What are you doing, Vince? Hey, Mike. Check it out. Okay. So, yeah, like left front, right front. These How's are fronts. Work? These are rears. Okay. So, that's left front. <laughs> right front. Yeah. Left rear. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mike's been working on this. This is nice. Fuel pressure regulator. Yeah. Usually I put them on the firewall, but I didn't want to put it on the firewall because we want it's... everything to stay attached to the chassis as much as possible. Yeah, one it's less all, thing. Yeah, so all the fuel on the chassis, engine, as little, as few things to the body as possible. Like we have no exhaust, exhaust hangers on the body. We won't have any airlines. Hopefully we can fit the tank and the compressors both on the frame, right? That's the yeah. goal at least. Yeah. And then the whole air ride system doesn't attach to the body. Yeah. I'm trying to make the chassis as complete as possible. Right on. <laughs> making some progress. So we got our uh, drawings for our laser cutter, very high tech. These are for the seat mounts, for our P51 Mustang seats to go on our P100. We got those done. Vincent! What up, Mike? Why are your hands in your pockets? Because it's freezing. It it's is like cold. 68 degrees out here. <laughs> yeah, it's so cold in California right now. You got the airbags working today. I did. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look this at how thing, much travel you got. There. Dude, so much travel. If I had my tape measure, I'd show you it had 12 inches of travel. Let me show you uh, something that's comparable to 12 inches. <laughs> okay. My forearm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, got the air If anybody's wondering, he's actually really like this all the time. Just in front of the camera, baby. <laughs> all right, we'll be back Monday. See you guys. Thank you. Oh man, it is a bright and sunny day. Good morning, Vincent. Good morning, Mike. How are you today? I'm good, very yeah. good. Today, I have a bunch of errands to run with uh, getting parts, plumbing parts, shocks, hopefully shocks. And uh, Vincent's gonna be here doing the, the work. Got some plumbing to do, compressors to hang, maybe an air tank to hang, some heat shields to build, Yeah. some fuel lines to plumb. So it's gonna be an adventurous day. So, let's That's get to work. Let's get to work. Yeah. <laughs>
got the fuel system plugged today. The one thing I'm super pumped on is for our Holly Dash, we have electronic fuel pressure gauge, besides our manual one, uh, that's gonna go to the dash. But we got a fuel system plumb, it's wrapped in the Funk Motorsport heat sleeve, and uh, all the way down through the chassis, the heat sleeve is wrapped. Uh, we also have our chassis harness in there, our brake line, our rear brake lines, and all that stuff's wrapped up, everything that's running through the chassis on this side. Uh, we got our air compressors mounted today. That looks nice, Mike. Thank you. That's some heavy duty metal. Yeah. 3 sixteenths, is that quarter? No, man, it's for tiny vibrations though, but it's rigid, you know? Yeah. Yeah, those things sit there and vibrate all day. We have a lot of work left to do on the body, uh, so Travis is chipping away at that. We got some things that we can do before the body goes on the chassis, which is here. The mm -hmm. things with the asterisk here, we have to have the body on it too. So right now we're gonna start and do the alignment and just get that done while we, while we have the time. After that, you can see what happens when a left-handed person writes on a right off board. White off, white out. A left-handed person writes on a white board. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we'll get, a, we'll get a leg up on assembling the engine and the chassis. So we're gonna put the engine to the transmission, flex plate, torque converter, accessory drive, motor mounts, paint that while it's out. It's a whole, this right here is a whole list in itself. But to keep things short, we got a simple engine. Let's go check on how Travis is doing. Finished up pretty much this side. Driver's side is kind of fine tuned. We went around with the DA smoothing some of the 40 grit scratches out. We're working on the passenger side right now. We're making good progress today though. <clears throat> this side is just about wrapped up from this body line down. Mm -hmm. Basically, me and Mike are gonna do the alignment on the truck tonight and call it a night. Yeah. And Travis is gonna be here for a while. <laughs> a while. to the best of our abilities and uh, it's a degree off on camber side to side I've seen much worse we took into consideration road crown because the roads kind of drive like this that's right? true that's true so it's yeah, perfect it's perfect so uh, we got the toe toe at a quarter toe in we got the alignment the camber within a degree of each other the caster's good but for right now it is what it is yeah so we're ready for tomorrow pull the engine put the real engine in it yeah Big day tomorrow. Well, good morning. Is everyone awake? Good morning, Mike. I'm awake. Just barely, though. Why? I don't have good explanation. It's like 5.30 a.m. Yeah, it's early. We got lots to do, that's why we're up early. So, we've got an alignment done. Get the engine in the chassis today. We had some setbacks yesterday working on bodywork stuff and weather. I don't know if the camera can hear the rain on the roof right now, so we're dealing with weather stuff. We got a leaky roof. Oh yeah, so we got some leaks. O2 sensor bungs, that's something I gotta do. When traffic lets up, we're gonna go pick up our new shocks from King. And then King? I, yeah, King shocks. We're getting hooked up on this one, bud. So once we get the shocks, we can do the shock mounts. And then once the shock mounts are done, we can paint the rear end. All right, so we got our work cut out for us. You can see the mock-up engine and transmission is out of the chassis. All that stuff is final welded and final painted, ready for assembly, which will happen today. What do you say we go look at the body? You want it? Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, it smells in there. Yep, wow. Look at this. This thing's looking pretty good. What do you think, Vince? Really smooth. Chris and I last night, we got the seam sealer in the seams here, here, all the body seams. Travis worked on the final amount of body filler and also uh, getting this place cleaned up and it's been quite the process. We're gonna get to work and we'll catch you guys later. All right, see you guys. We're gonna give us a nice speed roll.
set. So, just got back here in the shop, gonna come and see what the Vince and I kind of did some stuff a little earlier. I kind of helped. He held nut, and I went around him in a circle, around walking around him with the wrench. I helped you. No. You did everything. I helped you. I was just hanging out. So let's talk about what was installed. All right, I just got done installing these Excel super coils from Holly. I put the lower intake manifold, high rise intake manifold, Holly. Uh, also, we got this uh, accessory drive from Holly. Polished aluminum, everything, nice and compact. And what's cool about this is that all these accessories uh, are bolted straight to the water pump. There is no bracket. Uh, normally you have a bracket here that holds the power steering pump, and then you have a bracket over here that holds the alternator, and another bracket down here for the air conditioner. But everything's all bolted to the water pump. And Makes it really nice, compact, clean. Mm, what are you gonna do next? All right, what I'm gonna do next is we got these uh, these steam ports that I'm gonna replace here. And if you see their AN fittings, we'll make a T for them and we'll cross them over and then also go up to the upper radiator hose. That way when you're filling it, all the air comes out of the heads and goes into the top of that radiator hose. Leads all the air out. Then also I got these wiring harnesses. I'm gonna start playing around with. Nice, one step closer. One step at a time, even though it may not be in the right direction. Still making steps. 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 So what's up, dude? Oh, hey. What's going on? I got shocks. So these are like true race inspired shocks. So like it goes. Custom, custom built per purpose. So it goes like soft and once it hits that port, it, it stiffens up? It's, it's pretty much always past this port. So this is a six inch travel shock. So we may be able to make these work in the front. And this shock we may use for the front. This has the same thing. It has the welded shaft. The difference between these two is this one has a pin top. Yep. Which will make work in the back. Mm -hmm. And this is an eight inch travel or a nine inch travel. I don't remember now. And this is a six inch travel. So we only need a six inch travel for the front. It's got the short ends. No compression clicker though. Oh no yeah. So this one, clicker, yeah. this is it. Yeah. But still equally as cool. I mean, this thing. Chacow. Chacow? Chacow. No one here thinks this is a little bit overkill for the merch fan. No. Brett King told us we could jump it after this. Oh, there you go. We're jumping it in the lot. All right, so then your plan now is to mock up. Yeah, so now it's time to get to work. Coils on, part of our engine harness, our fuel system plums, lower intake manifold fully installed. Our upper intake manifold still needs welding. Our Holly LS mid mount accessory drive system. Motor mounts painted and steel it. Everything done, final assembled. All this stuff is coming together. We're really pumped on it. We did not do shock mounts, but we got our shocks. We bead rolled the radiator tubes. Old dipstick, we're still waiting on parts. Tin cover for air management, we still gotta do that. Paint rear end, we can do that after we get our shocks, so we're moving in line for that. So we're making some progress. And, Travis. Yo. Hey bud, let's go look what you've been doing. Let's check it out. Dude, look at this thing. So this steel it is on here, and it's still curing and still drying, but he just got it on. We're super pumped on it. For those of you that don't know, this finish that we applied here is a product called Steel It. And it's one of my favorites. <laughs> this is not a plug. We love the product. We love using it. I personally have done quite a few chassis with it. It's actually a 316 stainless metal flake that is basically in a polyurethane form. It goes directly on bare metal. So there's actually metal flake. Yeah, it's ground it's, stainless. It's ground stainless flake. It's not just a paint, it's a high performance uh, coating actually. Yeah. It's like if you have a race car, truck, anything like that, that you maybe get a crack in the chassis, 
The cracks are easy to spot. It's not like powder coat where it's completely around it. You have no clue that it's cracked. So it's nice to check. And the best part is you don't have to grind it off to re-weld it. You can strike the arc right onto the steel it and go to town. And then after you're done, you basically scuff it up with some 200 grit, recoat it, and you can't even tell you patched it in. You can absolutely weld on top of it. Mm -hmm. However, the metal has to be bare clean metal before you apply the steel it. Yep to be able to weld on top of it. Yeah, you can either sandblast it or you can use like a 36 grit on a DA to scuff it and then, you know, obviously then, wax and grease remover, yeah. clean it, prep it, cleanliness is everything. And also it likes to adhere to 36 grit. Yep, that's actually so, optimal. Right. The steel it looks really good. The boys are pumped, I'm pumped. The underside looks really good. Let's show that. Oh yeah, all the rotted metal is gone. So you did a great job. Thank you. Appreciate Pumped it. on it. So it's not that I don't like you, but I want you to get the f*** out of the <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> it looks like Desert Storm in here. Uh, that's it. That might be a wrap. That's a wrap. Is that a wrap on this episode? Get the f <laughs> hey guys, it's me Vince again. I just wanted to show you my new hat. People say it really brings out my eyes.